welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Being attacked. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be um, filming the fourth pattern in the Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book. And that is the Suki dress. So for this pattern, you get three um, options. So you can make this version here. It also comes as a short sleeve or a long sleeve. And then you have the option to do some color blocking. And the final version, which is the one that I made, is the sash and belt loops. I love this photo. <laughs> this is what made me want to um, make this version. So, for this dress, um, I ended up using this <laughs> quilting cotton that I picked up from a um, fabric store um, in Henrietta, Texas. And this is probably like maybe five years ago and it's just been sitting in my stash. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if this was the correct fabric <laughs> to use to make this dress. And I can't tell if it's because of the color, the pattern, because it's a quilting cotton, or maybe all three, but it's giving me a little bit of a hospital gown vibe. Um, my friend Tanisha and my husband said the same thing. It looks a little bit like a hospital gown, so what do you guys think? Does this, <laughs> do I look like a patient, um, or maybe a nurse? I'm, I'm not sure, but I do like this dress. Um, I just want to make it in a different fabric. It's cute, but um, I feel like I should be at the hospital. <laughs> so um, this dress you can make either with a short sleeve or a long sleeve. And I'll go over the pattern sizing for you guys real quick. So the amount of ease that you get for your bust is nine and three quarters of an inch. Your waist, you get about 12 inches of ease, and then your hips, you get about 3 inches. So a good amount of ease um, in the bust and the waist, which I think is why she um, gave the option for a um, sash and a belt. That way you can, you know, cinch it in um, at the waist. So I measured at a 3 for the bust and the waist and a size 4 for the hip, and that's what I sewed. And it fits me pretty well. Um, I did, however, make a couple of changes. And the big change <laughs> is how short it is. So I made a muslin. And while I liked the length of it on me, um, I did find it a little bit, I don't know, not as like comfortable to walk in. My legs felt a little bit constricted. So I turned the hem up to where it would be above my knee. And um, it was better. And I sent a picture to my little sister asking, do you like the long, longer length or the shorter length? And she said she liked the shorter length, so that's what I did. Um, however, I cheated a little bit and I did not adjust the pattern to shorten it. I just turned up the hem, um, let's see, I'm looking at my notes. So I turned it up a half inch and then a three quarter inch. And then um, when we decided that we wanted a shorter length, I just turned it up another five inches and um, sewed it like that. So it has a pretty substantial hem at the bottom, but I actually don't mind. I kind of like it. Um, I don't know why. I just do. I think it, it's, it's, it's fine. I like it. <laughs> um, okay, so what else did I um, have to do? Oh, okay. So if you want to do the sash and the um, belt loops, you do have to draft pattern pieces, but it's fairly simple because you're literally just drawing rectangles. So that's all I did. I just took some printer paper and drew out some rectangles, and these are my pattern pieces. Um, I ended up cutting them on the fold just because it would be easier for me to place them on fabric than trying to, like, draw out a huge rectangle and then, you know, cut it out. So it was just easier to draw half of it and then um, place on the fold. It's pretty simple. I did find something really interesting <laughs> about this pattern, and that is... There's no front versus back piece. It's your front is your back and the back is the front, which 
I guess it's convenient if you're getting dressed in the dark because then you don't have to worry about <laughs> putting your dress on the right way. But yeah, so it's literally just one long pattern piece. Um, it's pretty rectangular. There is no um, shaping, you know, like in the waist. It just, it's just straight, straight down. Um, I think which is what made it easy to just, you know, turn the hem up five inches because it didn't really change the shape of the dress at all. Out of all the patterns in the book, um, I do think that this is the easiest one to sew. And that is because, like I said, it's just one big pattern piece and if you want the short sleeve like what I have um this isn't a separate sleeve it's a I think what they call it a grown on sleeve so this is it this whole thing right here it makes the sleeve so you don't even have to set in a sleeve or do anything you literally just <laughs> cut out the fabric sew your side seams and then hem it and then you're pretty much done um it does come with a facing for the neckline but like I stated in my Sophia um pattern review I do not like facings so what I did instead was I just made some bias binding um, with the extra fabric that I had and used bias binding to uh, finish the neckline and it seemed to have worked really well and I like this better than the facing um, what else do I have to say about this pattern uh, I do like I said I want to make it again but maybe in a different um, less structured fabric the fabric does say to use like a um, Light to medium weight drapey woven such as linen, chambray, double gauze, tinsel, rayon, or crepe. Um, this is what I had and I thought it was going to look cute with it, but not so much. So I do think I want to go back and revisit it as a linen. Um, I'm really enjoying using sewing with linen and wearing it lately. Let's see. But yeah, that's all I have. Um... I didn't get any questions, so I'm not going to have, like, you know, an answer part of this video. So, I guess just the basic of it is, is literally, it's one piece. If you don't use the um, facing or if you don't add a sleeve, if you do that, then you'll have your main piece, your facing pieces, front and back, and then an extra sleeve. So, even then, it's not a whole lot. Very simple. Very simple to make. Um, this actually, this dress, as simple as it was, <laughs> it took me uh, 2 hours and 13 minutes and 14 seconds and that is because of putting on the belt loops. So when you go to put the belt loops on, um, Tilly mentions, let's see if I can find it right here. So it says try your dress on and then in parentheses it says the side seams aren't stitched yet. So that made me led me to believe that you're putting on your belt loops before you're stitching up the side seams. And so I did that. Um, however, I don't recommend that. I recommend that if you are putting on the belt loops, that you at least baste your side seam. And the reason why is because, um, let's see, how can I explain this? You have your side seams and they're about 5 eighths of an inch, right? So if you're just putting this on kind of like a poncho and you're trying to place where you want this to be on your body, if you're not taking into, cons into consideration your side seam, when you sew it, your belt, say you wanted your belt loops like this, but when you sew it, they're going to end up more on the outside. And that's just because you're taking that fabric and you're sewing it together, which is pulling it out like this. So I honestly, I recommend at least basting it and then putting on your belt loops and basting those on and trying them on. And then if it works, great, just go ahead and um, uh, you can, well, either try to, like, put it on your machine, or you could do what I just did, and I just undid the basing, and then it was easier to put the belt loops on through my machine, because it wasn't, like, a tube, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I highly recommend, um, at least basing it, and then putting on your belt loops, um, because I kept trying to do it with it already, like, not done, and every time I so the side seams up, they just kept moving out. <laughs> so it was easier for me um, to just go ahead, finish the seams, and then place them that way. I do wish that this came with pockets. I think this would be a really cute dress with pockets. Um, but I didn't really like the pockets on the Sophia, so I don't know. I may or may not have liked it <laughs> with this dress. Um, yeah, okay, so I think that really is all I have for you guys. Let's see. Last thing, she said it takes about an hour and 35 minutes 
let's make the main body. And then for the belt loops, you're adding an extra hour for like cutting and sewing. So about two and a half hours. Um, and that's kind of on par on how long it took me to do this. <laughs> Making the dress was super simple. It didn't take me any time. It was, you know, the putting on the belt loops. So, yeah. Um, that's all I have for this garment. So if I have forgotten any details or you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them um, at the best of my abilities. <laughs> and I'll be seeing you next week where I'm going to go over the Juno pajamas. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far um, and I'll see you next week. Bye!